Hey there, this is Tracking25 and today I'm going to be showing you how to build a vending machine in your Minecraft world. Now the vending machine uses all the blocks in my inventory right over here, so you can take a screenshot of this right now just so you know what blocks you need for the build. And stay tuned to the end of the video because I'll be showing you how to build the advanced version of this vending machine where you can have a payment system like for instance diamonds, putting in a block there and they can use that in your shopping district or all around your Minecraft world. Now the vending machine is very easy to use. Right in the middle you have a little arrow spinner just like that. And say for instance I want gold, I can press this button right over there and then gold will pop out the dropper right over here. Now at the end of the video I will show you how to build an advanced system that actually uses a payment option so you can put in diamonds for the items right over there and it will pop out the dropper right there only when there's a payment. But anyways, let's get on with the tutorial. We're first going to start off by building the wall for the vending machine. So you want to go up two blocks like this and you want to make a 5x5 five five grid on this block right over here just so we can put all our items on the vending machine right here. Once we have our 5x5 five five grid over here, you want to punch out these 8 blocks right over there and just replace it with any other random blocks like this and these are the blocks we're going to be putting our items that we're going to sell on. And this block over here is where we're going to put our spinner arrow. So on all these blocks right over there, you want to place item frames like this. And the middle block over here you want to place your arrow. Right now we don't need to put the items over here, we'll do that at the end of the video. Now behind this block over there, you want to come to where you have your middle block over here, and just place a block just like that with a comparator on this block right over here. And you want to place a block up like this, breaking that block over there, going out two blocks this way, and two blocks this way. Now on this block right over here, you want to place redstone dust and then a comparator facing this way. And in this block over there, you want to place two pieces of redstone dust. Then right over here on the wall, you want to place a chest right over there. And you want to fill this chest up with your wooden shovels. You should have exactly 15 wooden shovels or three missing slots right over here. Once you have finished placing the shovels in this chest over here, you just want to place two blocks in front of the comparator and then a comparator in front of it right here with a block in front of it there, and then we're going to build out a little rectangle right over here. Now starting over here, you want to go out one block, and then continue all the way to the end over here, and then fill out the rest of the blocks over there, and then put redstone dust on all these blocks right over here. And once you've done that, you want to come back to this comparator over there and put it in subtract mode. Now once that's in subtract mode, in front of this block, this block, this block, and this block, you just want to place another block right over there, and place redstone repeaters facing this way. You want to do the same thing on this side, on this block, this block, this block, this block, with redstone repeaters facing this way. You may notice that only one repeater is powered off. Now to test your system to make sure that everything's working fine, you can spin the arrow around, and you'll always see that only one repeater should be powered off when you spin the arrow around. Once you've tested your system to make sure that everything's fine, now we're going to place a block in front of all the repeaters over here. So you want to place a block up like that and then put out the blocks over here. And do the same thing on this side right over here. And on top of all these blocks, you want to place the dropper facing upward. Just like that. These are where your items are going to go in that you want to sell. Now over here in front of this dropper over there, you want to just go out one block like this, one block over there, and place a dropper right over here. This is where your items are going to come out from. Now, behind this dropper over there, you just want to fill it out with hoppers going this way, this way, and then same thing going all the way down over here, making sure that your hoppers are above your droppers until you get to this point right over here. Now, behind this hopper right over here, what you have to do now is just place a block over there with a comparator on this block right over here. And then in front of that comparator, you want to place another block there, with another block here, here, and here. And on this block there, we're going to place redstone dust, a block right over here, and a repeater on this block right there, just like that. And you want to place a block next to the dropper right over here. Now you can give it a little bit of test. Over here, you can just throw a random block into there, and you should see your item get dispensed out like that. Perfect, the system works. Now we can set up the button down over here. So when I come to the bottom right over there, on this block right over here, you just want to place a block facing this way, another block that way, another block that way, until you get in line with this comparator right over there. Then you just want to place another block right over here, another block over there, and place a redstone repeater right over here, and have dust on all these blocks right over there. Then we just have to make a little torch tower going up like this. Just like that. Until you get to this level where the torch is on, then this block right over here, you just want to place another block just going around like this. And then make sure that there's a block in front of all these droppers right over here. Until you get to the corner right there, and you want to continue it out over here. And on all these blocks, you want to place redstone dust. And believe it or not, this is the basic version of the vending machine all done.
To fill the vending machine, what you want to do is just put the item you want to sell right over there, and go to the back and locate where your repeater is turned off. And then that dropper over there, you just want to fill it out with that item over here. And come to the front right over there and place a button on this right block over here. And now when I push that button over here, you should see that the button that I put in that dropper over there is going to get dispensed out right over here. Perfect, now our system is working and I can test it out for the redstone dust right over here. So I'll turn the arrow to that block over there, then I'll locate where the dropper is off, come to the back over here, place redstone dust in this dropper right over there, come to the front and make sure it's working. Perfect, now that's working. Now the last thing you can do is just build out a little system right I have over there, just put in glass in front of this block right over here. Now when you finish building your wall right over here, the last thing you can do is just place three pressure plates right over here, a bucket of water right there, so when your item is dispensed out, it will now float to you. So if I press the button over there, you'll see that the rental gets dispensed out, they'll come right over there on those pressure plates right here. Now stay tuned right now, I'll be showing you how to build the advanced version of the vending machine, which uses a payment system right over here. Now this advanced version of the vending machine uses a payment system. So say for instance I put a diamond in here, I press the button and I'll only get the redstone item if a diamond's in there. And to do that we just have to break this block over here with the button on it and come to the back right over here. And I place a dropper this way and then break the rest of the blocks down over here until you get to that torch tower over there. Now right over here we want to put a chest two blocks away from the dropper and then two hoppers facing into the dropper right over here. Just like that. Now behind this hopper, what we're gonna do now is place a block right down over here and a comparator facing this way, and then two blocks in front of this comparator and put rest and dust on these blocks. Now we just have to put a repeater down right over here facing this way, a block in front of right over there, place a redstone torch on the block over here, and this is our payment system set up. Now in this hopper right over here, you wanna put the items that you want for your payment system. So I'm gonna have iron ingots as my payment system. Now you may notice that the items are not leaving the hopper. That is because only when this gets to 19, an item will leave the hopper. So watch, you'll notice that the items will go all the way down until this gets to 18, and then it leaves it. So it means when one more item goes in, that's when the item goes through, and it's gonna send a signal out to this redstone torch tower over here, and that's what's gonna activate our system there. So to finish everything off, all you have to do is place the repeater right over here, and this is the advanced payment system setup. So now the only way I'll get an item from the vending machine is when I put an iron ingot in there. So if I try and place the button right over here, you'll see that no redstone dust comes out, but when I put in an iron ingot, just like this, and then press the button, now I'll be able to get the redstone right over here. It'll be dispensed out the dropper just like that. And you can fill out the rest of the items over here. Just remembering when you spin that IR over there, you have to locate the dropper or actually the redstone repeater that's turned off to put the items in that dropper over there. And say for instance, your items aren't dispensing out over here right away. You can play it around with a tick over here, just putting it to two, three, or four making sure that everything's fine with your system. But anyways guys, that's gonna do it for the vending machine tutorial. This has been Tracking25, I'll see you guys in the next video.